Good evening, channels TXW5CSM. Name is Dave. Quick tutorial on uh, FT8 and how to call CQ. Uh, hopefully, this little chunk up here stays quiet. So, here's PSK Reporter. I use this routinely to see what uh, stations are being reported by me. I also use WSJTX Alert here so if there's anything interesting like Russia blowing in. What we're really here for is WSJTX software. So I want to take you through my settings real quick, just page by page. Just You can pause, see what I have ticked, and you know that may affect the behavior that you see. Uh, call sign, grid, uh, all radio that I happen to be using, the COM port, the baud rates, all of the data bits, stops, handshakes, all these things. That if you heard that in the background, that's the WSJT alert, or excuse me, the JT alert software telling me about something interesting, which happens to be Russia. All right, lines in, lines out. Uh, transmit macros, these are things that I have set up we'll go through some of that here in a little bit uh, reporting i always have the enable psk reporter spotting which is what feeds the website that i put in the beginning uh, tcp ip connection uh, the servers some of this stuff may vary based upon your rigs uh, configuration here in the frequencies i've put in a bunch of other additional stuff so you'll see ft8 two meter uh, usually it's just 14.074 and 14.075. I've added 14.073 because sometimes sometimes things go a little left of here that I want to be able to get. So that's why I do those. Colors, whatever colors you have set, you're going to have to fully understand because like when you see this, you want to understand what it is. Green, you want to understand it's somebody calling CQ, etc. So take a look at those types of things. Uh, as far as advanced, uh, let's see, these are special activities. So these are usually contests and things that I have some special stuff set up for. So that's that. I'm going to go through configurations real quick. I've got some historic stuff here. Uh, you can switch to the configuration. You can clone the configuration, reset it, rename it, delete it, whatever. So 2023 Bouvet Island. It's a special de-expedition. The default, of course, is whatever the default is. I have this one for my normal. Uh, Republic of the Congo de-expedition, North Cook Island, Rwanda, Swains Island, and then the Worldwide DX, uh, Digital DX Contest, you know, those types of things. They're always going to be in there. Uh, modes, you can use this to switch modes. You can also use these down here to switch modes. Uh, decode, I have deep set. Uh, let's see, save tools, those aren't really important. Okay, so let's see, I'm going to slide up. So 1550, so this is your transmit and your receive frequencies relative to the waterfall up here. So I'm going to go up to 600. So I'm going to double click on it, put in 600, hit enter, and then hit the down arrow. That synchronizes my receive and my transmit. And there are two different settings here in the lower right hand corner. This one I don't mess with. I can't really help you with. Uh, tab 1, if you tick CQ, uh, if, if anything's squirrely, you just hit generate standard messages. In fact, if I delete this, then I'll d generate standard messages and everything goes away. So I'm just going to call CQ. And when the time comes, whether it be even or odd, the time sequence will take over. So it's still quiet. I'm going to go ahead and hit enable transmit and now it's transmitting just the last portion of this time sequence so now it'll go quiet it'll go into decode mode double click erase clean everything out so that i don't have a whole lot of noise and i'm going to have a, a quiet cycle here for the next 15 seconds again on ft8 double check mode yep ft8 mode now it's going to show up here. Anything yellow is what I'm transmitting. So CQ, call sign, grid on 600 relative to the waterfall. There's somebody else coming in there just to the right of me. So let's see if somebody will answer me. And we'll talk you through the rest of the process. So somebody's coming back to me right away. This is kind of convenient for this video. 
All right, so I have mine set for auto sequence CQ first. So the first person who called me was Alpha India 7 Papa Zulu, so they get credit. I'm reporting that I hear him at a plus eight. And that completes my sequence. He will now come back with a Roger 73 or whatever he's going to. And this again is all auto sequenced down here because you'll see what I sent right here was automatic. There we go. He sent me a Roger 6 and I'm going to send him a Roger call sign 73. This now blips up which says this is my transmit power. I'm going to hit OK. And now that will show up in my reporting software right here. If I can get this out of the way. Right there. So let me pull this out of the way. Let me answer this other gentleman who happened to call me, if I can get my cursor back. All right, he says 7-3. So now I'm going to talk to Kilo 6, uh, India Romeo Kilo. So all I did was double click on him up there, and I'm sending him down here. My, uh, you, this is me, negative 4. Normally when this happens, I hit halt twice, which stops everything. And I also erase because if he's moved on to something else, I don't want to keep sending you. This is me. I hear you. So I give him a chance to respond. This is just my choice. You could send it as many times as you want, etc. I think I've met the need of this video at this point. We'll give another cycle. And uh, this is the way that it goes. This is how I call CQ and uh, get responses and go ahead and throw them in the log. So the, the logging happens uh, automatically and there are some things that I have set up in the WSJTX and the N3 FJP amateur contact log. So uh, final notes, double check that you're running current uh, version as of today is two, version 2.6.1 in the WSJTX software and if you're running w, uh, Amateur contact log at 7.0.9. And that's as of today, which is January 4th, 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. 7 3 and greetings from Whiskey 5, Charlie Sierra Mike.